also with starting a new business, if it uh, in the retail industry, is there a legal obligation for somebody to make somebody wear a mask coming into the store? If they didn't want to, would you be would you be um, obligated to to make that mandatory for them? That's a great question. That is a great question, and so I. I think we talked about this at the beginning of the hour, but this is a great question to kind of reassociate, you know, safety. So right now there is a mandate in Alabama for people to wear masks. Now there are some stores that put the, you may wear mask, um, but just because of the rule, the changing and the trend, if you're going to start a retail store, because you're going to have high traffic and because you're probably going to run into a lot of risk, it might be in your best interest to go ahead and make people wear a mask. You don't have to, of course, um, but you will probably run into some safety risk um, that might end up putting you in trouble with the state of Alabama. But Nina, it, it, it's important to let, I think, everyone know that, that mandatory masks, mm -hmm. you can require masks in your own business. Yeah. And, and you, you're not going to get in trouble for that. Yeah. And you can, you can uh, tell customers that they can't come in without a mask if you choose to. Okay. Uh, businesses have that right. And I think that's kind of uh, what I'm hearing from some business owners is it's a it's a tricky thing to navigate. Yes. But I think maybe the governor's order this week helped it or last week helps. helped with that yes. in terms of saying this is now required by the mm -hmm. state. Uh, and, and so we're pleased asking that you do that. Right. It does. It does help the businesses because they, they are in an awkward position if a yes. customer just flat out doesn't want to do it. Yes. Um, Nina, we, we, you, you caught a question a little while ago on it, a lady asking about nonprofits and LLCs. Mm -hmm. Would you talk a little bit about LLCs and LLPs versus sole proprietorships, just so that our, our audience understands those, those terms? Yes, of course. So sole proprietorships are something you've probably seen all the time. So usually the person who's a nail technician, a barber, or any of those, they get their license to practice or do hair or do your nails, and they basically don't have to get anything else with the state of Alabama. They got their license to practice um, for their business. They have their cosmetology license and other degrees. Um, you can go ahead and start a business without getting anything formed. But with an LLC, um, which is different from a so proprietorship is that it protects your assets. So this is all about asset protection. So when you start off with a sole proprietorship, your personal assets are still on the line. So if you make a mistake or you're getting sued, then your personal assets, your, ho your house, your car, any of that could possibly be on the line. The same thing with a limited partnership. It is limited, but there is somebody in the partnership, which is the majority partner, that's gonna take all of the liability and there's gonna be some people who don't take liability. But with the limited liability company, which is what LLC stands for, the business takes the interest. So if the business doesn't own your house, your car, or your bank accounts, those will not be affected. So if you want to protect your personal assets, I always advise my clients to get an LLC. Excellent, excellent, wonderful. Well, thank you for that information. Great answer.